I know. Oh man, and coming out the ring, it is the team. Oh, do you know these guys? Um, you know this man here, Pierre. Hey man, he looks like a model from France. Oh, I, I, I'll take that as a compliment if I were him. And that's his uh, manager right there, uh, Aurora Borealis. Heard something. And here comes his opponent, Big Avalanche. Not the big black yes. Avalanche, just Avalanche Jones, the CMF. I mean, he's got a good song. Oh, I can say that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got the moves, he's got too, moves. you know. Yeah, check it out. Hey, hey, Yo, what is he, he doing? doing? I don't know, man. Oh. He came out a little strong, man. He got rejected right there. He wants to attack him? Man, uh, that's not the Avalanche you know, side. There we go. A little shuffle to the left, to the right. 15 minutes, one. Uh, what Europe. is your name? Your name is J JB, JB, right? That is correct, sir. JB, I'm here with Black Snow. We're commentating here at the midweek mid card. And who do you think has the best chance of winning this match? Yeah, I keep hearing a, a little song. Wait. I know it's up. Um, what do you ask me? Yes, uh, who do you think will win this match? Uh, the big muscular guy. You were saying Avalanche Jones. Jones has the better chance of winning against Pierre Lacroix. Yeah. Alright, alright. Hey, I, I wanted to ask you something like, um, I don't know about this AAWA thing, but like, so when you're in here in commentary, can you like request food to come here? Because I'm hungry. You want food? Uh, yeah. You just have to walk there, man. Rita's kitchen. It's uh, it's in the concession stand. I they, think they I'm, don't... I'm gonna call him McDonald's. McDonald's. They might yeah. deliver, man. Just give them a call. But we're here commentating on this match. Avalanche yeah. George, Pierre Lacroix. Yeah, well, I don't want to get listen. fired on my day of the, my first day of the job. That's correct. That's not a good impression. Always have a good impression on your first uh, first day. Why is this guy keep, you know, showing off like he's winning this fight? He's just pushing it. I agree with you. It's too early to to brag. It's too early to taunt. And uh, Pierre Lacroix is taking advantage of this. Oh, what a big karate chop! Follow missing that oh. chop. I don't know. Oh. I don't know if these guys. Yeah, I don't know if they they can hear me from here. But I want to hear someone slap. The other. I want to see. Oh, they can hear you and they can hear you loud and clear. I wonder why. And here we go. Takes him to the center of the ring. Well placed, strategically placed. Picks him up. Yeah. Here comes the exchange. The bigger yeah. man versus the yeah. smaller French Canadian getting knocked out by Avalanche Jones. Now, Black Snow, you had a match for the Band from TV title. Can you share with us a little about your experience? And um, do you feel that that was a just victory from uh, Black Cat? That match was a joke, complete wow. joke. I wanted to, I was gonna win that, but mid-match, someone just yelled from the back and changed the rules of the match. Now, what are we doing here? We screaming Black Snow. Well, this first. Which rules are we disputing here? Can you share with the audience? Um, it was supposed to be a normal match, and then mid-match, I just heard someone from backstage yell, "Oh, you got a, you got a pin him in the center of the ring." Hmm. Wait, so you weren't aware that this was a bullseye match at the beginning? Of course not. Interesting. And yeah, here's a pinfall attempt. One, two. That was close to a three. All that weight on top of Pierre Lacroix. Oh, no. oh we're always a bit worried about uh about Pierre. 
Why is she yell oh no like that though? Hey, she's worried that he's gonna lose the match. And just like that, oh. this, like, this match could be over and that was similar to a category. And Aurora interfering immediately. And uh, do you find that fair? Uh, what find is that this? Oh my goodness. I wonder who we learned that from. You know, there's a lot of sleazy gameplay sometimes here in the ring at and AWA. And oh, you yeah. gotta know how to counter it and how to prevent Dude. these things. Yeah, and you gotta know how to fire a cameraman nowadays as well. Jesus. Yeah. Get the corner. You know, Carusta, we pay him well, you know. Yeah, hey. but uh, two, there you go. Up. Good job, Travista. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that took you too long. Yeah, sometimes you know those cameras have a lot of buttons and they can be a little big. You know, so, yeah, give 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 him a break here. And here we go, right on the ropes though. This man posing <laughs> and and just started a crazy fan. Uh, behind me, like, what, what are you doing? Oh, nice bridge, though, but it was too close to the ropes, and that's not how you win. A nice uh, standing clothesline, followed by another Ooh. back to back. Get him go. Oh, he's Ooh. big splash. Big splash, yeah. They've, they've had a good showing so far. Yeah, uh, the Avalanche yeah, Jones is uh, dominating this portion of the match. You can notice that the manager is worried. He is concerned for Pierre. Yeah. But oh, this. this could be it. it uh, we might go pinfall. You know, I think Pierre is yeah. relying too much on these weapons. But uh, can he beat him without the weapons? And it seems now, not JB, to be the case. Correct me if I'm wrong, but was that his finisher? It seemed like it. It seemed like it. It was such a big move, worthy of a pin. You know? Jesus Christ! No, no wonder guys like no wonder guys like Jim Cornette criticize this guy so much. He's a modern wrestler. Yeah, you're correct. He relies I mean, so I, much on the weapons. Jeez. I I agree with the philosophy and the psychology that you know you do a big move such as a DDT and that's worthy of a pin. Yeah, I feel like these these guys have been relying so much on the weapons that themselves as we have been lo losing brain cells yeah too much uh, too many weapons a little little showboating you know sometimes yeah. uh, you gotta stick to the to the basics and oh no <gasps> is he okay uh, I don't see him breathing I'm gonna get a stretcher out there and roll the dice avalanche girls someone call his mom that's right. That boy is not good. Yeah, that boy is not right. He's not moving. And uh, I'm concerned. I mean, he looks a little stiff. This, this prick Pierre is dancing on top of him. Yeah. Yeah, he's very proud of himself. And, you know, we'll get you an update on the condition of Avalon and Lance Jones later tonight. Uh, the winner of the match... By KO at 6 minutes and 36 seconds, Pierre LaCroix.